morning. It's Joel, Tracy, and Brian here at Nature's Way Farm on Aurora Collar Road. Uh, we're making a series of videos to share with everybody to let people know what goes on in the honeybee world. And we're also hoping that our videos will help beekeepers uh, become better beekeepers. Today we're going to be uh, combining two queen units. That's a strange term, two queen units. Uh, but we're going to be combining two queen units at our, uh, some of our bee yards. We're going to take you along with us. We just wanted to give you a brief description of what goes on with the equipment we take with us. If you see as you look at the truck, we have honey supers on. Uh, we always uh, take honey supers this time of year because we may need to add honey supers to what's already there to give the bees continually uh, new space to draw a comb out in. We also have our screen bottom nuke boxes, um, which you'll understand their uses of later. You can learn more on them by checking out our videos online. They're screen, screen bottom boxes and, and well ventilated so they're good in warm weather to move splits. We have a box of smoker fuel um, here. Our favorite smoker fuel is by far pine straw. Makes a nice cool aromatic smoke which calms the bees well. And of course we have our bee smoker uh, that we use uh, as we're working the hives. In addition to that, we always take a few uh, honeybee queens, some cage queens out with us. Um, our, we have a few tomato sandwiches today and our uh, lemon water uh, to keep us hydrated while we're out working in the hot sun today. So we look forward to sharing our day with you and we hope you'll enjoy the video. You can visit us anytime at natureswayfarm.com. It's www.naturewayfarm.com learn more about what we do and how we do it, and we're happy to share with you. Tracy and Brian and I have arrived at one of our uh, typical bee yards. We're getting ready to combine uh, two queen units to take off some splits. You can see uh, what our yard looks like. Uh, usually about 24 hives in a yard, and we uh, run both regular hives and two queen units side by side. We'll explain a little bit more about all this as we get into it. We just wanted to give you a view. My son Brian is over here. Uh, he has he has one smoker that's lit, ready to go. And as you can see, the pine straw makes a nice smoke, and he's in the process of lighting another smoke. So as Brian finishes up getting the smoker going, we're going to get our gear on and get ready to work these beehives. We're ready to start combining our first two queen unit, but we are going to take a split off of this. We have our nucleus box ready to, to put our split into, uh, so we'll walk through this with you and enjoy the ride. The top box that we have here, our top hive, or our top part of our two queen unit is going to be all honey. We have a queen excluder on and normally we don't have to put honey excluders on our two queen unit or extra supers but this year is a busy year. We have a lot of honey coming in. Boy they've got everything glued together really well. Tracy's going to move in so you can take a look, and Brian's going to give you a quick look-see to see what's in this top box of honey. Got a couple frames out here. They definitely got it glued together. Got a pretty nice frame of honey there. A little bit of brood at the bottom. So this gives you an idea that this top box then will be added to the honey supers on top and they'll finish this off. Be part of what we pull at the end of the season. Now keep in mind that the average hive production in New York State is about 55 pounds a hive. 
using the two queen method, we generally get between 180 and as much as 240 pounds of hive in a harvest. So it is a lot of extra management and extra work, but it's well worth our time. Next box we have, next hive body we have here is going to be our brood chamber for the two queen unit. And what we're going to be looking for in here is to see, to locate the queen and uh, take off our split for our nuke box and install that and get it ready to move to another yard. Go. So we've come to the frame that has the queen on it and we're going to give you a quick view of what the queen looks like. If you look right here in the center of the brood walking around, this is this is one of our queens. We can tell she's a nice Cordovan Italian and she has a really good brood pattern and, and lots of good bees in here working hard. So we know we've got a good queen going into our split. We're gonna finish up our split real quick by carefully placing this frame with a queen on it in here. We're gonna put a wax painted frame on the outside. I'm going to smoke these and then Brian's going to put the lid on and place these somewhere in the shade where they'll be safe from the heat until we can get them moved out of this yard. We'll move this to another one of our bee yards and later uh, in the season we'll move these into a hive body with 10 frames and we'll be getting those ready to go south with our bees in the winter time. We're going to be using uh, some foundation frames because we want to get as much foundation drawn out in this honey flow as we can, nectar flow. So we're gonna equalize these by placing a frame on the outside, moving these frames back together, keeping in mind that the frames that are left in here are now brood frames. And we are working to, these bees will hatch out, combine and work with the bees below, and they will divide their duties in the hive in such a way that they will make a lot more honey than the hive normally would with double the brood hatching out over the next several weeks. We're gonna tear this hive down to the bottom and check for the queen in the bottom. And then once that's done, we're gonna combine this hive. As you can see, the upper hive is divided by the, from the lower section of the hive with what we call a two queen board. It has this plastic uh, divider that we can slide open and close to close the inside, which is actually a small section of queen excluder. Show you a little bit from this side, but also from this side. This allows the bees to pass back and forth and they'll, all of the bees will accept both of the queens uh, and learn to work together. So we're down in the bottom section of the hive now. And what we need to determine is that this hive the lower hive is queen right. You see we also have a queen excluder here. A lot of people call these honey excluders, but we invite you to take a look at our videos. In our 30 years, we've run with and without, and you can see we use them, and you can decide what works best for you. All I'm really looking for, I see a good population of bees here at the bottom, at the entrance of the hive, and I'm just going in now to see, do we have eggs and brood in this lower box? Since we made this divide about 25 days, 28 days ago or so, we know that if there's brood down here still, that the queen, that we have a good queen in the bottom as well. Get in towards the center frames, we're seeing both cap brood, open brood, and eggs. So we don't have to look any further for a queen. We know we've got a good queen in this bottom two queen unit. Okay. Now we're going to put this hive back together and it's going to produce honey for us right through the fall season. We're going to put supers on now, but we will probably have to add more supers later on. This hive will put up around 30 pounds of honey a week during a, a good nectar flow season like we're having this year. As a reminder, this is our brood chamber that has, from the upper 
two queen unit. We want the brood directly above the brood below. This brood will hatch out and they'll continue to fill this with honey as the new bees hatch out. And the bees will combine to work together to make a really strong hive. Putting our second deep on here. As we set the second deep on, we're going to leave a little bit of a space between these two boxes. This will allow the bees to enter, not have to go through the brood chamber so it's not crowded and swarmy. It'll also give the bees from the upper entrance a chance to relocate to an entrance that's, that is higher and that they'll find quicker. Then we put the balance of the honey supers on in the same order they came off. Now as you can see there will be some confusion because the bees that are in the, were in the top part of the two queen unit, you see them coming in with their pollen pants on or looking for their entrance. Within about a day they'll re reorient to this lower entrance and no longer be looking for their old entrance. And they'll be just big one happy hive that's going to make us probably 200 pounds of honey this season. Well thank you for joining us for combining our two queen units. You can always find more information about the unique the uh, way we keep bees at naturewayfarm.com. We appreciate you sharing part of your day with us.
nuclear yard. yard. 